Welcome back, my internet train friends. I hope you're having a great week. This week, I'm doing a little bit of work on the layout. I've been spending the last couple of evenings kind of looking at a few areas and making a couple of changes, mainly just adding scenic elements. One of the things, if you're into this hobby or looking to get started, scenery can be a really relaxing and enjoyable piece of it, and it can also be very frustrating. I am no master scenery creator by any stretch of the imagination, but I do have a great time doing it. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm working on tonight, and then we'll run some trains for a little bit. Before I start any scenery project, I like to get a little bit of inspiration from my friend Bob. Always learning in this hobby. I learn something every time I work on this layout or every time I look at someone else's videos. There's a lot of inspiration out there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Can't wait to get started on this one. You know, some nights you just have to work on the layout. So what you see here is my assortment of random scenery materials. And what are we working on tonight? Well, I'm actually trying to add a little bit to this mountain up here. I want to add a little bit more detail to this mountain. You know, it started off as a pretty basic shell, looking over here on the side. Right, and what I'm working on is bringing the rest of it to life and just adding a lot of textures and trees and shrubs and all these kinds of things that make it stand out. And I'm actually going to be also changing up these backdrops. Believe it or not, I got these as a test to see what they would look like. I'm really happy with how they turned out, so I'm going to order much larger ones because I, I'm going to need them to stretch the, the length of this, this side of the layout. I really want to bring the whole layout together from a visual perspective. So lots of sky going around the entire perimeter. And I think that's really just going to bring a lot of cohesion here. So I'm going to tackle this mountain second, one thing at a time, folks. And this is my current project. So I'm working on these little pine trees that I'm putting up here on top of this mountain. And I'm just using Woodland Scenics tree armature kits with their conifer green foliage. I'll coat these with glue and I'll literally just put them into this bowl until they're nice and full. And that's really a basic method of tree making. Nothing special there. I'm not some master artisan, so <laughs> you're not going to find that with me. But these work really well and it's a great way to make trees really quickly and to get your layout looking really full. One of my favorite things to make are these little green shrubs because they really look so real. They're probably the most realistic looking scenic feature on my layout that I've made. And I just use these, these little uh, pieces of foliage from Scenic Express. And luckily when you live in a house full of women, you have a lot of hairspray. Is this the best way to do this? I have no idea. I like to do it this way though. I got my box here and basically I take this and spray it with the hairspray. Just coat it till it's wet. And then I take my green flock, Woodland Scenics. This is just a blended turf green. I just douse this thing until it's nice and full. And you can do other things. You can add like little leafy pieces to it. And really, I mean, like I said, there's people that do this so much better than me. But check this out now, right? So you have this beautiful piece of what looks like something that'd be in the woods. If I walk out into my backyard where the woods are, there we are. So, Scenery 101 with Chris. Take it for what it's worth, but it looks pretty cool. So looking at this mountain, here's some of the trees and some of the shrubs, a little bit closer. You'll see my plaster cloth. I have a lot of porous areas. That's just my lack of experience, but no worries. I'm pretty happy with it. But look at these, like here's some of the trees that I've been working on, and here are some of those green foliage pieces that you saw. And then I just mixed a little bit of flock and a little bit of texture here and there to kind of bring out some of these, these areas. And it's really bringing this mountain to life. It's making it look a lot more interesting. And I'm really happy with how this is looking. So you'll see like this area that's more done. And if I shift over to the side of the mountain, that is still a work in progress. See how plain that is. So you can take a very basic shell and then with a couple of little easy to make pieces, ooh, 
Zen. So yeah, there's all kinds of little things you can do here. These are some like little texture leaves. Oh yeah, that is the stuff. I'm no master layout builder, but that looks pretty good. I like that. So a little bit of a short overview of my scenery process. Again, I am no master of scenery. I am learning as I go, like many of us. There's some, some folks out there on YouTube that have some really, really outstanding setups. I would suggest you check them out. Uh, tonight we're gonna run this MTH Premier GP9 Western Maryland. I gotta love my Western Maryland engines. We're gonna run this on this upper line, see how it looks next to some of this new scenery on the one side. I'll probably take a few more nights and finish the other side of the mountain, but I wanted to get a video out this week. And then I have a couple of engines that are scattered about the layout and I'll just kind of get those running in this general area. Couldn't help myself but throw these two GS engines on at the end. I haven't really had much of a chance to run them together since the GS5 came back from Lionel, so that was kind of fun to throw in there at the end. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Chris and this is RVP Trains. We'll see you next time.